Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this cool printed effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump right into it. Firstly, we're gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna fill it with white. I'm just making sure that the color white is in the second color over here. And then on a Mac, just press command backspace to fill it in with that color. I think on a PC it's control, but not sure about that. Next, I'm going to grab my type tool and write our text. I'll resize it, place it here in the middle. What I want to do next is already change the blending mode to dissolve and you'll see what changes later on. I'll go then to filter, blur, motion blur, convert to smart object. And we're kind of going to add a bunch of blurs. So maybe like 150 to get this effect. I'll then command J on a Mac, control J on a PC, uh, duplicate the layer. Since it's a smart object, our filter is still fully editable. So I'm just gonna double click on the motion blur filter and reduce it quite a bit so that the text is legible. Once we have uh, sort of this effect, I'm going to select all my layers, including the background, and I'm going to press command E which will merge all my layers together. Then I'll go to filter noise and add a bunch of noise as well. Uh, probably like 15 is good enough in my case, but play around with the settings till you're happy with it. And lastly, just go to filter noise, dust and scratches. And as you can see right off the bat, we get a really cool effect. You can play around with the radius and the threshold. Uh, with less threshold, you get a more smudged effect. With higher thre threshold, you get this really cool effect. So just play around with the uh, settings, and once you're happy with it, just press OK. So before and after the dust and scratches effect. So cool. It's crazy how many things you keep on learning just by fooling around in Photoshop because I've I'd never seen a tutorial or a video anywhere showing this effect in this done this way. So kind of cool that you get to experiment and find new effects, even though you think you know Photoshop, <laughs> maybe you don't. Um, that's just to say you just keep on learning every day new stuff. Um, yeah, and that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment, and hit the bell to get notified for new uploads. Go check out my Instagram. I post daily designs on there, so that's pretty dope. And in the description down below, you'll find the links to my gradient map packs and texture packs and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.